Cellular, also referenced as mobile or GSM networks, are one of the possible options for IoT networking because of its wide coverage and long range. Those networks use orthogonality in frequency and time spaces. Cellular networks are present by the subsequent generations G, currently up to 4.5G, present on the market, and 5G in the experimental phase that should be fully functional about the year 2020. Typical GSM network technology, sometimes referred to as an era, runs out within about 10 to 15 years. It is pretty close, but still less than expected end of life for classes of IoT devices that is about 15 to 25 years. GSM hardware used to be backwards compatible, enabling users to access older, even before 2G GSM networks with the latest chips. The evolution of the GSM network over time and generation varies depending on the continent. Cellular networks use different frequencies in different countries, yet available radio models developed nowadays are usually able to handle all of them. GSM protocols are proprietary, quite complex, including advanced ciphering, and require dedicated hardware. A sort of documentation on Stardot is not publicly available because of security considerations, in example, voice transmission ciphering details. On the other hand, the GSM network seems to be a good solution for extended distance IoT networks. On the other, they have many disadvantages, however. First of all, they require the use of operator's infrastructure, as GMs and bands are not free to use. Professional operation requires licensing, and connecting existing infrastructure involves a purchase of the unique identifier, phone ID, and the number that is given by the SIM card, physical or virtual, and of course, a service fee. By the limited access constraints, there do exist one more. GSM boards are using quite a significant amount of energy when establishing a connection, because they need to broadcast their existence as far as possible to gain a connection with a possibly distance located base station. It requires tremendous power and drains the battery even up to 10 watts peak. Thus, so cellular solutions are not suitable for the IoT devices that use frequently data communication, then go into the sleep mode.